I always yeah. edit. I edit it afterwards, and but there's always some good bits coming out at the beginning anyway. I absolutely find that as well. <laughs> <laughs> so look at how are you today anyway? I am excellent. I um was go I got up a bit late, was gonna go to the gym and do a uh, cardio session upstairs, got up a bit late as I was walking into the changing room. I looked at the pool empty, so I went. That's just too rude to miss. So I did 50 lengths, had a quick sauna, shaved, so I'm beautified for this podcast recording. And um, oh, and I've uh, arranged my three songs. Um, should you want me to play them? No, I, I just ask you the titles and I will put them okay. in afterwards. But that's perfect. Okay. So 50 lengths, that's good. Tell me a bit about that. Anyway, what's, what's the story with swimming? Tell me about your love for swimming. Yeah, well, it's not a love for swimming. Basically, what happened was that um, I had a bunch of strokes between 2003 and 2006. Five mini ones, one big one. And the one big one, everything let go. It's called a pond stroke. So it's where the spinal column slots into the brain. It's called the information superhighway. So even connections within the head eyes ears nose go through the ponds so i didn't i couldn't see for 10 days light came in but i couldn't focus i couldn't speak for six weeks i couldn't walk for two and a half months um and essentially there's there's two arteries up the vertebral arteries coming on the back of your neck and join in the middle and going to the base of the brain so that those two arteries have become completely blocked and the base of the brain is your autonomic uh, heart and breathing function. So technically, statistically, I've died twice. Um, and um, technically, I'm not alive now. So my approach to life, this is not the first thing that happened to me. My approach to life is this. You can sit around moaning like most people do, or you can choose to fight so every day i get up and i run at the world and i i force my brain so the connections don't i reconnected it from a functional point of view but it happened to me when i was 35 so 35 years of conditioning i'm now 15 uh, 50 so i've only had half the amount of time to establish those neural connections so it's still effort and i have to do it every day no, I don't have to do it every day. If I don't do it every day, I'm not as functional as I am. Wow. So, um, Aaron was thinking about swimming, and that's an interesting story. But let's stay for, with that for a second, because uh, you said uh, you technically died twice. I mean, yes. apart from the obvious scare, I'm sure it was a scare, but, but what, what's, that experience? what's that experience? What, what, what has, what's that experience taught you? Well, um, to answer that question, I better quickly cover the, the things leading up to the stroke. So uh, I was given up for adoption on day two, adopted month nine, not picked up for those nine months. My parents, my dad only told me a year ago that for the first year after I was adopted, um, that they had specialist OTs because my legs weren't working. Um, then uh, I had a pretty easy childhood, nice, happy life, all the rest of it. Good job, company car, bought a motorcycle, went to Spain and France, brilliant times. Then 1996, I uh, had a motorcycle accident where a car pulled out of a side road and my upper right side is paralyzed. Uh, and it's incredibly painful all the time. So adoption, uh, relationship issues, motorcycle accident, um, you know, terrible pain, wanting to die so badly for six years, I abused drugs and alcohol uh, and drove every day for six years, desperately wanting to die. I couldn't kill myself, but I, um, I can, if I die through accident, then I'm not responsible. If you see what I mean, it's kind of a self-sabotage thing. Then I fell over in 2002 and broke this wrist. Hold on. And it's, oh, I can't, I'm pretty sure, yeah, it's, it's off center basically. So if I hold my hand like that, after a while it hurts. So, uh, and I can't feel the tips of my fingers anymore because they trap my medium nerve. So adoption, no, not being picked up, motorcycle accident, 
loss of both arms for 16 weeks. So when I had the strokes, it's like a question of, it took me a while because I had to reassemble my consciousness. But um, it's not the first thing I've had to deal with. So it, it, it's, it just is, you know?